Hey guys, Dean Mike here, and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. Last time we went to the Cloud Kingdom, clean sweeped all but one of those moons, and today I'm gonna check out more of the Lost Kingdom. If you like jumping between kingdoms, if you like having a good time with your boy D Mike here in the jungle. Like this video, comment and subscribe. Hopefully you're all doing wonderful. I feel like I'm doing okay. Feeling healthy, wealthy, and wise. I think I mentioned this before, but one of my favorite things to do is to go back and listen to myself when I do my recordings to see how I sound. And the episode that precedes this one 30, this is, this is 34, so that would be 35, or this is 35, the episode that I'm talking about is 34, and because I was sick, I sounded ridiculous, and I kind of love it, in a way, I definitely sounded absurd, and I don't feel bad about it, but I do... I did enjoy going back and listening to myself. I did sound, uh, I did see, sound very ridiculous. Uh, how'd I blow this up? I don't know. But anyway, we got some more moons to get today. I only got two here last time. It was a rabbit. Oh, don't you do it. Don't you do it, boy. Are you stuck to this? Oh, this is going to be horrible. I'm horrible at getting rabbits, let alone on the... Uh, wait, I hit you. You're supposed to stop when I hit you. That sounds like a very abusive thing to say. Alright, come on, dude. What? Does that even- does that really do anything? Is that actually stunning him? I'm trying to think of it if I- Alright, I don't- Okay, I wasn't sure if I was gonna get a moon out of that. So... I'm probably just gonna say random things in this episode like I always do, so that's that's not new. I don't know why I preface that, but I have had some thoughts recently about recent events. Not, I mean, they're not they're not related to me. I I have it doesn't involve me at all, but it involves kind of like YouTube thoughts in general that I've had. You know, the, the platform or like, maybe just media in general, um, you know. Occasionally from time to time, you will find that there is somebody in the YouTube sphere, I'm not naming any names because that doesn't matter, but this is more about like just precedence than anything. Oh, I wonder what this is. Oh. A moon I already got. I actually wanted to just start up here because I wanted to go to the Crazy Cap and see what additional Mario outfit there would be. But I thought I'd shortchange you if I didn't show myself getting up here. The slow way, because I didn't race my bros this time around. Hopefully you liked that thumbnail I made. I made it just for you viewers. Alright. I'm not getting any any customers in this location. Well, Toad, it appears that you are bad at capitalism. Who are you? Why do you matter? Okay, great. That's the last person I want to talk to. The corporate shell. Does that... Does that count? I'm not trying to rebuy this. Okay, so... I didn't get that one, apparently. I'm not gonna go and do the buy 10 thing, that's not my goal. Um, okay, so no new outfit from there. I didn't really scroll further through this. I unlock new stuff as I play, but I I guess, I don't, I don't know, I don't care. You can look at this. Looks like all the Brutals, you can wear their outfits. What? Oh, I guess you unlock more of these when you clear more moons. That derailed my train of thought, though. So, one of the things that I was thinking about, because there's been 
there's always going to be people in in the YouTube sphere or just like in general and people in media that when they do something that the world deems inappropriate in the realm of public opinion, the court of public opinion even, you'll find that the scrutiny becomes very real and what is that down there? So obviously like my wheelhouse is YouTube. I've been doing YouTube now for about, look at sneak up on you, sneaky sneaky. Oh, you little butt. And he's gone forever. But yeah, obviously YouTube's in my wheelhouse. I've been doing YouTube on and off for... 15-ish uh, years. Keyword on and off. Did I do this yet? I don't know anything that I've done. I feel like I spent the majority of my time with the bro race. But... I've noticed what I think is interesting, and this isn't a, this isn't my opinion about people doing things that they shouldn't or like being criticized for doing things that they shouldn't, but it's more of the response that happens after the fact, right? I cannot time this to save my life. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, this is probably you death, no? How do they expect you to get there? Maybe this? Oops. Nope, that's not how you do it. But anyway, what I was trying to say is I've noticed that after a scandal happens, we'll call it a scandal, we'll say somebody does something that the public doesn't like and they, they get poo-pooed on for their transgressions, whatever that turns out to be. And what I find really interesting is how after something happens, you know, we're all guilty of it. Was there a secret moon here? That was a heart. That's all that was? You vibrated real good for me. Well, I can get a good look here. There's the Mario 64 hat stealing vulture like a jerk. After something happens, I'm never gonna finish this completely with how ADD my brain is, but just bear with me, viewers, I'm trying. Is Oh, he's doing exactly what I thought. Okay. Not again! Okay. Is this the same boy? Oh, now it gets way more intense. I like how the music changes, too. Cappy's like, oh, oh yeah, this is when I have to hear Cappy and his dumb moaning. Oh, Mario, I'm stolen by a giant bird. The government has taken me. Get off me. Where does he go? Oh, I probably have to have him land on one of those. Yep. That's frustrating though, that's padding because I didn't need to come all the way over here to do this. I don't know, I don't think these platforms. Yeah, this almost has to start. I need him to land somewhere else. Zoop. Land on the one next to me, dummy. I gotta chase him all around for this. That is such a waste of time. This is gonna hurt my personal best. My record, my PB. But, you know, after somebody does something bad and the world gets mad, and then the responses that people have to controversy and opinions that they form, um, what I find very telling and interesting is how, you know, it's fine to have an opinion. Everybody is entitled to their opinion as long as you're not being, you know, bigoted and stuff like that. But you're entitled to how you feel. You can't control your feelings. You can only control how you react after the fact. But I was watching some response videos that were made about a controversy that had happened. Uh, an alleged controversy. I don't know much about the actual what it take. Oh my gosh I'm not having a good time. I'm trying to have like a serious conversation with my viewers, and I'm trying to fight this giant bird 
Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to him in this one. All right, there's that. This is really, really cool. All right. So, yeah, whenever there's controversy, people are going to have their opinions. One of the things that I find very telling is that using, like, for instance, your YouTube platform, I've noticed that there's a lot of channels out there that are making videos in reaction to the controversy or to the scandal. And they're, they're putting their opinions out there, which I find is really interesting because... And this is my opinion about people having an opinion about things. I think that's a little dangerous to do. I'm not saying you shouldn't voice your opinion and make yourself heard. But one of the things that I find really telling about a lot of these circumstances is two things. Whenever people have an opinion about something like that that they want to put on YouTube, sometimes it's logical, sometimes it's rational. Um, but a lot of the times it's very dramatic, very performative outside the realm of just saying what your thoughts are and that to me is a little frustrating because then it kind of makes me not trust what you say okay it said that i'm supposed to, I'm, I'm supposed to be using the i don't know why it said it said i'm supposed to be using these platforms obviously to to get him but i don't know which ones i can attack him with well he'll actually land on it these dumb Goombas are getting in my... Mmm! We don't like this. I see here Cappy is whining in the background. Am I just supposed to, to hope that he can, like, land above one? Because I don't... When we were in this kingdom before... Yeah, this is not... This is not fun. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's one. There we go. That'll work. He landed on the on the one I I prepared. But yeah, one of the so basically the point that I'm trying to make here, poorly. Don't you do it? I got your back, Cappy. Bam! Just killed that bird. Let's see the uh, gratitude, Cappy. Come on, bud. <laughs> yeah, stupid bird. That's right, buddy. But yeah, whenever I see these reaction videos of these, like, my thoughts on the so-and-so scandal, like... It's never so much as simple as being like, oh yeah, like, this is how I feel about it. I think that it was kind of messed up, and here's kind of the, the, the facts of the matter. And I'm not saying this is exclusive. Like, obviously there are probably just as many examples of people being stupid about it as there are people being very, very concise and logical. But it does, it definitely puts me off a little bit whenever I see those reactions and it's like, how could so-and-so do this? What a giant scumbag. Their apology was the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And now obviously, anything that you do wrong, people are going to have an opinion about it. But then again, being wrong can sometimes be subjective, right? We don't necessarily always get to determine like what we think is right and wrong is you know there's like a, a moral code an ethical code of society we're not all barbarians who just don't care about societal structures and conditions and stuff there's social currency out there of course but is that all there is to do in here i feel like i'm just wasting time yeah, anytime that I see those overly dramatized reaction videos or the here's my thoughts on the scandal, I just tune that out. I saw one recently where the, the guy that was making the video, of course, is going to get a ton of views about it because he has like 15 million subscribers. So his video is going to be the one that's going to get the most attention right away just because the algorithm loves him. Oh, thanks. Did the butterfly come back? That'd be really clutch. But I'm listening to this guy talk and I'm like, man, like you, you just sound, the way, the way that you're speaking about it, I don't trust what you say. And I don't mean that in the sense of I think that he's lying, as in I don't think that he's being honest. It's more like, just tell it straight. I don't want to hear you 
I don't want to hear you complain about it. I don't want to hear you whine about it. You know, if you feel like there's an injustice and somebody did something that you didn't like, that's fine. How close can I get before this thing flies away? I feel like that was like the right amount of distance. Are you kidding me? I'm just like inching along here. There it is. Was this the Takatu moon? I think so. A butterfly's treasure. But yeah, I just, I, I've just seen those reaction videos like in recent history and I'm, I don't know. Maybe it makes me sound like I'm kind of old and outdated, whatever, but I'm just listening to people make these reaction videos and you're entitled to make those. You know, it's YouTube, put whatever you want out there as long as you're not being disrespectful. Or maybe, I mean, you can, I guess you can put disrespectful stuff out there. That probably gets more views. But, yeah, that's just my kind of thought is, I'm listening to this and I'm thinking to myself, like, having an opinion about something is perfectly fine. Oh, I'm not going to make it. Oh, I am. Never mind. Ha <laughs> That was pretty epic. What I almost wonder is, there is danger sometimes to having a massive platform and doing something wrong because you will get crucified for it. But the other side of things that I realize that is dangerous is you have to really keep your nose clean for multiple reasons. One, obviously, you should just be a good person. Like, that's just kind of without question. Oh, I am not glidoning correctly, I'm just going to sacrifice myself. But if you're going to make opinion videos like that, if you are going to feel... Ugh, don't put me back here. If you're going to feel very strongly about something that's potentially controversial, and you're going to form a, such a strong opinion where you're essentially calling someone out, Saying, hey, don't do this. You're you're a scum. You're how could you? Uh, you have to really make sure there's no skeletons in your closet because there's a good chance that unless you are squeaky clean, that people will come after you as well. And that's kind of the downside to public opinion and having a large fan base. Like, I can't imagine. I mean, I would love to have. I'd love to have 15 million-ish people watch my stuff someday, but I'd hate for somebody to watch my videos and just be like, oh man, D-Mike's a scumbag because he felt a certain way about something. Or, I mean, if I did do something wrong, obviously, like, you know, you're going to get called out for it, but I think it's just the the, the overly dramatic side of things. I, I, I guess I don't really vibe well with dramatizing things to that degree. It just feels like it really cheapens the reality of what's happened. And if something bad has happened, then, you know, let's focus on the... Let's focus on the details, or not. Or just don't focus on anything. Don't feel compelled that you need to have such a strong opinion to... make a dramatic video for YouTube. Unless that's what your YouTube channel is about, and then I probably won't watch your content. Oh, come on, I had it. I guess that's just not how I vibe. But some people some people really enjoy getting riled up. I don't know if that's like a modern society kind of a thing, or if we're just noticing it now because social media, as toxic as it is, has given a voice. Come on. Yes. Jump down to the top of a tree. I didn't know. Oh. I mean, I guess I technically did. It was more of a glide. Is there anywhere else I can go with Glide on here that is useful? I remember early on when I did this stage, the first time, aka the only other time, there was a place that there was like a key or something. And there's also there's also this this cage. Oops. I don't know how to get stop it. I don't know if that bomb boy has to be the one to break it, because I don't think Mario can break it with his bum. He has buns of steel, but not quite that strong. But yeah. I mean, I guess it's controversial to even say what I'm saying is the idea that... You know... Did I do this? I don't remember anything. Crazy amnesia. Nope, I haven't done this. 
have opinions, feel strongly about things, but maybe don't necessarily always feel like you have to share everything with the world. What did that do? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I just, I, I, I mean, I just watched some of these YouTube videos. I mean, I, I was only watching it initially because I just wanted, I wanted information. And I wasn't getting information. I was getting information tucked inside someone's very dramatic opinion, which is, I don't know. It's just, it's just exhausting to me to hear that. Like, don't get me wrong, like, scandal, tragedy, conspiracy, whatever. That stuff's gonna happen, and it's unfortunate, but... I don't know, everybody that's on YouTube sometimes, it just feels like everybody has to be a big clown. Ooh, that killed me. I'm not really about that. I don't want to sit through your half an hour video while you dissect what happened and then instead of just giving straight information, you have to lace it with just all kinds of nonsense the way that you feel about it. And that's one of the things that I've noticed too. I, I, I've followed a few different channels in the past of them being part of the controversy and are being embroiled in some sort of a feud or some sort of a something that happened and man it just turns into a such a huge mess all the time with this kind of stuff and everybody's got an opinion and everything is so dramatic there's never there's never a moment where people just have clarity and they're like oh yeah like that that was messed up and whatever that person did was not cool it's always like there's always a, an additional factor to it where people have to give their their input their two cents and their two cents is normally like a coin made out of dog crap and burnt hair feel feel a certain way about something sure but just be be composed about it be rational realize that maybe there's more to what you're dealing with and that maybe you're not always right. And I think it's a value. There's our bro. I think it's a value to just being mindful of those types of things because there's nothing really worse than overreacting to something and then being wrong. That really sucks. I've done it. Never really, never really goes well from my earthly experiences. I'll just tell you that. It's a really nasty feeling, and it just, I don't know, just kind of makes me sad when I've done it in the past. I look back and I cringe, and I'm like, ah, oh, man, I should have done that. But, you know, sometimes when emotions run high, it can be tough to keep your cool. I get it, but you, just, you should try. If I could give any sort of advice. Now, how do I get that key? I feel like I'm... I feel pretty good about my moon acquisition here. I mean, there's not really a ton to get. Ooh, can I get this boy? Maybe this is the boy I need. I think I just, you know, if I if I could summarize everything that I said after already trying to do that, I'm just not a very dramatic person. I mean, like, I, 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 I gas it up a little bit for YouTube because it's fun, but I'm just, you know, it's performative a little bit, but... You know, if you ask me how I really felt about something, and I was going to make a video about it, I'm not going to make, like, some sobby apology video or just some really fake, nasty, nasty. Just, I don't know. I guess I just don't really like fake people very much. I don't like, uh, super performative, inauthentic, insincere stuff. It just makes me not happy about it. I know that people are doing that because they, they know that they can get reactions and I think the, the term for making content to intentionally upset people is called rage bait. People, are, that's, I mean, that's, that's, that's history. Like, that's not a recent thing. And obviously, we have new names for everything all the time. But I've noticed that, is that people will make content just intentionally to upset people. And that makes me upset, too. Like, the fact that people are intentionally monopolizing anger to 
upset people. You know, it just seems unfair. And life is hard. And there's a lot of things that we all suffer w through and deal with. That it just makes... It makes sense that we should just try to make each other happy and have fun and live our lives in a way that's healthy instead of trying to prioritize hate and saying nasty things to people. It just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Maybe I'm just wired differently. I'm kind of the eternal optimist, but I've always just tried to have a good time with people and show them a good time with my dumb, goofy sense of humor that makes no sense a lot of the time. Oh, this is where the moon rock was. But, you know, I think the thing that you just have to be careful with is just watching what you say, especially when you put yourself out online. I guess that's just another thought, is there's just... You just gotta be careful. That's my big thing. That's my big warning, especially to younger people who are putting themselves out on the internet. Just watch what you say. Uh, people will always have an opinion about you and sometimes they can come after you in nasty ways. See the strange creature made of differently colored round sections. Okay, so he obviously wants to see one of the, one of the wigglers. So I'll, this will be our last moon of the day. I feel like I don't normally have these types of very serious conversations on my channel. Cause I'm just, I'm, I'm a very goofy person. Um, that's just my personality, I suppose. What if I do... Can I put you here and then come back to you? Yeah, there we go. And please don't explode. Nice. Hang tight. Hang tight, buddy. Nice. Yeah, you got what you wanted. So it's built like a chain. Sounds like an accordion. The mis The mystery? Yeah, I, I like this kind of like weird Bonneton tourism. Thank you for advance. Oh, he's a scientist. Did I do this? I don't know. Let's try this really quick. But yeah, so whether you have an opinion or you have an opinion about opinions. Yeah, I did do that. Just watch what you say. Watch who you say it to. Just know that just because you have an opinion doesn't mean you have to share it. And sometimes the things you do say can come back to bite you. So just mind yourself. Take care of yourself. Say good things to your friends and your family. Be respectful. All the things. Advice from the wise D Mike. No. It's probably horrible advice. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But anyway, that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm out of moons. I feel pretty good about this. We're going to call it a day here. I only need 115 more. Actually, let me check my list. I feel like I did a good enough-ish job of getting these. Ooh, I missed a bunch of these. Eh, that's okay. We've got plenty more to do. Let's go ahead and deposit our moons into the old orange fago. Would have liked to have gotten four more. That would have been nice. But that's pretty good. Lost Kingdom, there isn't really a ton to do. But there is going to be a, a lot in the next kingdom. The Metro Kingdom. So we're going to head there next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for listening to this diatribe of my opinion about opinions. And I'll see you next time. Bye.